All right, everyone. Welcome back to some Fire Emblem Heroes. Sorry for the lack of videos recently. It's been really busy for me, and uh, I used up all my orbs on Mia and Lin, so no pulling banner for the Fates kids. But anyway, here we are with a new Grand Hero battle or Bound Hero battle. Sorry, with Tana and Amelia, good old Sacred Stones reps. Uh, I'll show you what I did. Uh, and with my team, I'm bringing May with my Raven Tome TA. And the Lancebreaker. The Lancebreaker is probably the most important thing here. Uh, Akshara, who is dancing and nothing, as always. And my Mia, spoilers. Uh, <laughs> so I haven't posted my part 3 video yet, but... I have her at plus 3 now with the plus defense. Minus HP, I believe. With Aether, her default weapon and A slot, Desperation. And I threw a close defense on her. Because plus defense and close defense makes her pretty tanky. And my Rebecca, who now has Aether, and the Brave Bow, Standard Sword Breaker, and all that stuff, as always. So, let's go right in. This map is actually pretty tough. Um, took me a few tries, but you just gotta be careful and take advantage of these defense tiles when you can. Um, so, for starters, I have to specifically put Azura here. As you'll see next turn. Uh, let me turn on animations. One. Okay. Yeah, you want to be really careful because left side, all these armors with armor march are showing up and wary fighter with mages behind them. And on the right side, we have uh, a bunch of flyers, some with guidance and whatnot. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to make quick work of this guy with me. Okay. And this is where I needed to have Azura here, because I had to dance from this forest to keep her out of this green mage's range. And here, I could kill this flyer with Rebecca and reposition, but I'm actually going to put Mia here. And then move to the left with Rebecca, because Tana is chasing Rebecca. And I want Tana to delay her approach a bit and move to the left here instead. And thankfully, Mia exactly kills this flyer. Okay, so this Wary Fighter Blue Armor Knight comes pivoting above with Wary Fighter. So this is where May comes into play. But first, I take out this guy with Rebecca. And Lancebreaker trumps Wary Fighter. So this guy stands no chance after an attack or two with a dance. And Iceberg for the good measures. Alright. And now I'm going to leave Mia where she is to take out this guy and avoid Tana and this Sapphire Lance guy. Alright. So here Mia is able to full heal with Aether. Alright. And thankfully Tana moves straight across here so it's easy pickings for Rebecca. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is let's see. If I remember correctly, I'm going to dance Rebecca up, reposition Azira out here and then move them back. Okay. And now here I believe, yeah, I'm going to take out this flyer with Mia. And then I'm going to dance her up. And then attack the armor unit with Aether to heal back up here. And then since May has Lancebreaker, I'm able to drag back here so Azura won't get hit by this guy afterwards and I'm gonna leave Rebecca here to to give them to give the summoner support bonus bonuses to Mia which import which actually matter here a lot as you'll see in a second because if you aren't aware summoner support bonuses give plus one to all stats if you're adjacent Oh, okay. The calculations are a bit different this time, but last time I did this, she had 1 HP. I don't know why. But okay, that happened. And 
Oops, nose is running a bit here, excuse me. Now I'm going to finish this Armor Knight off with May. And I'm going to take out the Red Mage with Mia. And I'm going to just chill here with... Uh, actually, I'll do this. I'll dance up. Okay. There we go. To be extra safe. And so I'm on a defense tile, so zero will take zero damage. Wonderful. And thanks to close defense and my plus defense IVs, Amelia stands no chance. Okay. And... <laughs> Let's have Rebecca finish it off <laughs> with her two times four. Thanks to this Aether proc. Nice. And then I'll end it with May here. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that was Amelia and Tana bound hero battle with her on Infernal Difficulty. So yeah, it's pretty tricky. Um, my strategy is probably pretty difficult to imitate considering all the factors, so I wish you guys good luck. Uh, hopefully you'll find out some way to do it. Uh, and there's always the cheesy methods, of course. Though it's probably not really reliable to do horse emblem or dancers with brave bows here. Brave bow units with dancers, rather. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll up be uploading my Part 3 Mia video relatively soon. And if you guys didn't notice or check the news, uh, we have the Christmas banner coming up. We had the new silhouettes showing up this time. One was clearly Lisa, and the other one could be Krom, could be... Uh, who knows. But And we also know of Robin and Tharja. So it looks like it'll be all awakening. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Hope to see you next time. B Goodbye.